Introduction Let us now walk towards the Natha Mandira or the dance hall. While walking please observe the serene atmosphere, coupled with a quiet but majestic seashore nearby. When viewed from inland during the dawn and sunrise, the chariot-shaped temple appears to emerge from the depths of the blue sea carrying the sun god. The Chandrabharga beach is located approximately 3 km from here. It is said that the waves used to reach almost up to the base of the temple during the ancient era, and that the sea retreated just over a century ago. The Chandrabharga beach is considered to be one of the biggest assets of the state as far as tourism is concerned. It is one of the finest, cleanest and greenest beaches in eastern India and is one of the ideal places for holidaying. The Konark Sun Temple was declared a World Heritage Site in 1984. The unfathomable intricacy of the carvings at the temple is unparalleled anywhere in the world. The temple is known for its chariot shape, stone carved wheels, pillars and the intricate carvings done on the walls. Great poet Rabindranath Tagore once wrote of Kone Ark, here the language of stone surpasses the language of man. It is absolutely true, since the experience here cannot be described in words. Please take a look at the green lawns, which are well maintained and try to get a glimpse of the white and beautiful cranes flying, which is a rare sight indeed. In the evenings, the Kone Ark temple is lit up with lights which look mesmerizing. Let us now meet at the Nata Mandira, or the dance hall which stands on a high, intricately carved platform.